Hey, it's me again, and yes, I'm wearing the same top because I just finished my last video. So, I have a little mini craft haul, um, mostly from Walmart, but I did get um, a couple of things over at Fred Meyer. Uh, in my Walmart, at the front of this store, they have, well, the, the checkout is here, and then the checkout's here, the main store is here, but right in front of the main store area behind the checkout they put their clearance stuff and they had these um, Project Runway little florets they're really cute they're kind of a, a taupe color I guess seam binding no it's not seam binding it's just a zipper that's just swirled around and so I'm going to look at these because I think that it would be pretty easy to make these um, with the little zippers that you can get and then they are on a pin but I thought these would be cute for a project. Um, and they were $1.50 for two, so I got two packs. And yeah, I got this Ofre ribbon, and it is nine feet, and it was $2. It's red, white, and blue. And so I got that. I had to buy a new tape runner. I really like these Elmer's tape runners. It was three something, I believe, and then the refills you get two for under three dollars here. I dropped mine on the floor last night. We have that laminate wood floor in our family room, which is my craft room too, and I dropped it and it broke. So I had to get another one of these. And you know what? I have got I've got the ATG and I really don't like it. I think it's difficult to work with. It's heavy. Um, and I have problems with the tape getting all screwed up. That's probably operator error, but I'm actually thinking of selling it. So if I decide to sell it, I will let you guys know. Um, I've been watching um, videos of people who are doing colored pencils with their stamped images as opposed to markers. I found that with my markers, my Marvy ones, um, and I don't know if it's the ink that I'm stamping my image with, but I found that those caused the black image, stamped image to run and blend in with the ink. And I also, are they Bic or Sharpies? I think they're Bic markers, and I picked up like a big pack of different colors, and those seem to work a lot better. Um, but I know that people are really using a lot of pencils. Before I invest in Prismacolors, I thought I'd spend a couple of bucks and get these Crayola colored pencils. They are preferred by teachers, you know. So it was 24, it was, I don't know, two bucks maybe, three tops. So I thought I'd try these, see if I even like working with them. I do have watercolor pencils, but those are very expensive and unless you're planning on doing something on watercolor paper, I do not recommend using watercolor papers and water on your craft project because it will cause the paper to bubble. So I'm going to give these a shot. Um, this really isn't craft related, but I would gotten one of these. Um, it's open it, any package. I would gotten one of these for my husband. It was kind of last minute. I needed a couple of things for a stocking stuffer. So I got this for him. And we really like it. It really works great to open packages such as this. Although the Cricut packaging is pretty easy to get open with just plain old scissors. But this is really nice. So we have one here. So I got another one to take to our house in Las Vegas. Because it was on sale. Um, I think they were originally 11 something and it was on sale here for $8. Now at your Walmart they, it may be less expensive. I got another one of the Cricut Lights that was on sale. This is the savory one. And mine are still $29. And in fact, some of the ones that they had on sale for $29 are now back in the $39 area. So I don't know if it was new stock or what. But these are the images. I've looked at this since it came out. And um, so I thought I'd just slowly pick up the sale ones if they're ones that I'm interested in. If not, no big deal. Down here it says pepper, salt, basil, mint, cocoa, sage, and then they have a pitcher and different fruits and just really cute stuff. 
So $29. Um, and then in their back to school area, they've got all their back to school stuff out. So if you're looking for organization or, you know, items like that, they had these and they had a couple of other designs. One was like a cityscape and then another one was um, hot pink and gray and black and white. So I got these two and I think that they were about $10, which is kind of expensive, but they're really cute. I don't even really know what I'm going to do with them, but I know that I'll find something. Some good use for them. Then at Fred Meyers, I got some more 3D dots, although they're squares. They're EK Success. It was $1.99 for 144 of the little ones and 54 of the bigger ones because I'm getting really low. And I'm really trying not to go to Joann's and Michael's. Good Lord, you guys, I, you know I don't need to go there. So then at Fred Meyer, I was looking through their um, back-to-school section because I wanted to see what they had for colored pencils. And I found this cute little pencil box. And I didn't know how much it was. It rang up at $5.99. But it just has the regular clasp. And it's just a regular old pencil box. They had a bunch of the plastic ones, and I was considering getting one of those, but this was so stinking cute. So I'm going to put my pencils in there and maybe my markers, I might, my Marvy brush markers, I might put in there too. So that was it. I didn't do too badly. I mean, I didn't spend tons of money. Yeah, well, except on this for $29. Uh, if you didn't catch my other video, make sure you go check it out. I'm having a Wet n Wild eyeshadow and bronzer giveaway. Uh, one of the limited edition ones that came out this summer. So check that out. And then eventually I'll be doing my nail video. I mentioned that in my other one too. Um, I'm going to be doing some nail art. I got contacted by a company. And so that's why the hands are like this. All right, you guys, you take care. I hope you're having a great day and you have a wonderful week and I will just talk to you later. Please comment and rate and subscribe like everyone says. Thanks a lot, you guys. Bye.